Hi everyone, this is Lynn and welcome back to the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel. Today I'm featuring the olive leaf and laurel leaf together with some older sets. One called the Frameworthy Mini Slimline and another one called the Love You Mom stamp set. Now first of all I die cut the Frameworthy Mini Slimline just out of white cardstock and before starting to play or puzzle with placement of the other dies that I like had, I just adhered the inside of this frame on top of my card base. Now I just added the frame temporarily to make sure that the inside was adhered straight uh, by inlaying it. And then I took the laurel and olive leaf from Crafty Meraki and I die cut it out of some brown cardstock, blue as well as a bit of gold. Now initially I thought of using the dead shadow word as you can see in the left corner but in the end I ended up not using it because I used quite a lot of leaves and there was so much going on that the dead was just a bit too much so I switched that up. Um, but a really really simple card. If you saw the incredible new release, the Meraki-versary one with all of the dies, uh, you probably saw that there are a lot of leaves that were released and they are all incredible and you can definitely remake this card it's quite similar by just using other leaves if you want to or combine more of them. Um, I just wanted to feature two and so it became clear for me that I wanted to use the olive leaf which is my favorite personally from the leaves that were released because it's so subtle, delicate um, really really incredible and then I searched for another leaf uh, with also a delicate stem uh, but just a few bigger leaves than the olive leaves so that's how I ended up using the laurel leaf along with the olive leaf so I just try to place them a little bit and then once I was happy with placement I added some adhesive on the back of that frame to just have everything adhered at once but because there is quite a lot going on I also adhered some of the leaves on top of the others uh, to keep everything a bit more in place it's really really delicate and that stem will not hold it alone uh, so that's why I just added some glue drops on the other um, leaves as well So I also decided to not only have all of the leaves behind the frame um, but also a few on top, well in front of the frame as well. I'm having one at the right, one at the left and then I will play a bit with that golden leaf branch that I die cut. Um, the gold that you can see here is the brushed gold glitter cardstock from All to New. Um, I bought it in a kind of a set with different gold uh, glitter cardstock. And it's really handy because I can compare it with all the colors I already have and see which one matches the best. So that's what I did here and I just trimmed them down a bit to be able to add a bit of glitter here and there but not too much. Um, this is definitely also something that you can do all over your card. For example if you want to create a wreath uh, but the stems are just a bit too large for your wreaths particularly you can always trim off um, a piece of it so that you have the perfect size for your design. So I'm just playing a bit, it's also really fun to add it exactly where it fits and then just create a slight shadow. Uh, so that's why I did there in the center of the card, I think that's also a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I just just played a bit, um, I took my time and then once I was happy with all of the placements I could turn this panel around I am going to trim off all of the excess from the leaves that are overhanging here I'm just using my scissors you can also take it to your paper trimmer but for me it was the easiest to just grab those scissors and fix it this way I took my time also to make sure that I wasn't snipping in the frame, uh, that wouldn't be as nice. Um, so I just took my time, trimmed it all off and then I could bring this frame to my card. 
Now to play a little bit with dimension, I am using some foam sticky strips. Uh, they are from Tailored Expressions and I'm mostly adding them on top of my frame. I'm also going to secure a few leaves, not all of them because it can be a bit whimsical, a bit loosey-goosey. Um, but a few I will add uh, some tiny pieces of this sticky um, strips uh, on top. And then I will add it to my card base. Now something that I want to mention um, is, and it's really unfortunate, uh, but there was a part of this card making that wasn't filmed. Uh, so I will just run through all of the things that didn't get on filmed, uh, which is mostly the finishing, the sentiment and the uh, embellishments on this card. And I'm really, really sorry for that. I hope that you can forgive me. Uh, it wasn't a big thing to still add. I think the biggest thing was to get this placement right. But it's just a bit playing around, um, moving things until you're happy. But for the sentiment, I ended up using the Love You Mum. Uh, last week, I stamped this sentiment out and I had it left over. So from the Love You Mum. And then as embellishments, I use the Citrine Opal Gems from Crafty Meraki. A subtle detail, but it works really great with the browns as well as with that gold glitter card so that I used. And that is my card for today. Really simple. Quite a lot going on, I think, with the different leaves. Uh, but a really fun project to make. Also really easy to recreate uh, depending on your leaves. You can create something completely different if you want to or change up those colors. Create a rainbow if you want to. Uh, lots of ideas uh, to get going with. I hope I could inspire you and I'll be back soon with some new inspiration. Bye!